Hi there, welcome back. Welcome back everybody. I'm so ready for this show. You are? Well, what are you ready for? I'm ready to sing and I'm ready to listen and I'm ready to figure things out. Yes. Oh, she is ready. And George looks ready too. He's looking, his eyes are paying attention and his ears and he's leaning just so he can see really well. All right, and I know you're ready too. So let's start when we sing together. All right. When we sing together, I feel so much better. It's easy and simple. mystery. What will the story be? <laughs> I like to figure things out. Hmm. Will it be fact or fiction? Hmm. Will it be true? Or make believe. Hmm. We're going to find out. So let's sing the Curious Giraffe song. Find out. Here we go. Giraffe looked over at Dorothy and said, I'm curious what book and song she'll share with us today. Do doodle bugs doodle is on the way and we'll share under one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. We're different, but we all Right. So, we do have a different book today, but it's by the same author that we've heard before. Here's the wonderful cover. Do doodle bugs. There's a drawing of the doodle bug. Doodle. <laughs> and it's by Corinne Dimas and Artemis Rorig and illustrated by Ellen Shee. They had a different illustrator last time, but they all have really cool pictures. So, you know, Jeanette was asking about fact or fiction or true or make-believe. Hmm, we're going to figure out after, when we read this book. Okay, let's see. Do doodle bugs doodle. Got their crayons and paper out ready to doodle. And we see children going out exploring outside. They found a ladybug and some ants. Wow. Do dragonflies breathe fire? Look at those beautiful pictures of dragonflies. No, but they have a long tooth jaw and a flap at the front of their mouth that can shoot forward and catch their prey. Do water boatmen wear life jackets?
No, but they carry an air bubble under their wings and use the oxygen when they swim underwater. Do horse flies gallop? No, but they are the fastest flying insect on earth and can zoom much faster than a galloping horse. Do fireflies roast marshmallows? No, but some of them blink their yellow or red light on their abdomens to attract mates. Different species flash different patterns. Do stink bugs take baths? <laughs> no, they like to be stinky because that discourages predators from eating them. The smell comes from glands in their abdomens. Do yellow jackets wear yellow jackets? No, but their bright coloring warns other animals they are venomous. Birds beware. Do book lice have library cards? No, but they sometimes eat the paste used to hold the book bindings together. They also eat algae and lichen on trees. Do doodle bugs doodle? Yes, doodle bugs, the larvae of ant lions, leave spiraling winding trails in the sand that look like doodles. Can you see their drawings in the sand? There was finally a yes. And then at the back of the book, they have scientific pictures instead of drawings and scientific facts. So this book is fact, it's true. So we learned a lot in this book. And that last question made me think about doodling. So I'm going to use the book like a little art desk and I'm going to doodle. And I love the curls and doodles that they showed. So here goes. I'm going to draw a doodly 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 do and I'm going to draw a spiral because that's one of my favorite shapes there Dorothy's doodles <laughs> I like to put the name of the artist on the paper. I'm putting Dorothy's doodles. But what was really cool in the book, it says that these 
doodle bugs doodle in the sand. So I went outside and I gathered a little sand in a container, a leftover container. It was in my recycle bin and I pulled it out and I went outside and I gathered some sand. But this is a favorite art project. Then I got some glue and a paintbrush. You can do this just with a stick or a Q-tip if you don't have a paintbrush. But I'm going to paint glue onto my doodle. Dip again. You have to be patient. Get more glue and follow the doodle. Some more. I did a big fancy doodle so I have to actually be very patient to get enough glue on to make the sand painting that I'm hoping to make. I hope this works because if it does, I think it might be fun for you to try at home. I'm almost done. One more loop. Okay. I'm going to put the top back on. Doesn't spill. And now I'm going to take the sand, take a little bit in my fingers, and sprinkle it. Okay, okay I'm going to just sprinkle it over my drawing, my doodle. Mm. This came from outside, so some of the bits and pieces have unusual things in it. I assume you're going to collect a little bit of dirt or sand from outside wherever you live. And you might have a few twigs and things too that you didn't really want. Okay, so you sprinkle sand over your doodle where you painted the glue. Then you take the whole paper and you make it like a funnel and pour off the extra and see how my doodle shows up? So you can make sand doodles too. It's fun. Reading books gives us ideas. So, I a song, have a song about the little sandpiper. So, sand makes me think about sandpipers. And I was at the beach once, and I saw these little sandpipers, thin, thin, little long beaks, and they dip that thin, thin little beak, very much like the end of this toothbrush, just long toothbrush, paintbrush, dipped in the water, and all these little rings went out from, from that one point where it touched, and it really inspired me. So I wrote this song. The chorus repeats itself, so you can sing along. Little sandpiper waiting in the water, little sandpiper waiting in the sea. Dip your beak, and what do you see? <gasps> Rings flowing out from you to me. Rings flowing out. Do we dip smile 
our feelings are like the little tiny pebble or the little tiny sandpiper. Our feelings come out and they create ripples. And we can think about if we want to create scary, angry ripples or if we want to create gentle, loving ripples. So I have another song about a creature that lives near the water or in the water and it's hermit crab. Hermit crab was hiding, hiding in his shell. Hermit crab was worried that the day would not go well. What if a big wave came and swept him from his home instead of going out to play? Hermes stayed at home. Hermit crab was growing, growing in his shell. Instead of going out to play, Ernie would just sit. Hermit crab was crowded, crowded in his shell. Hermit crab was worried that the day would not go well. What if the walls got tighter? What if he couldn't breathe? What if he couldn't live there? What if he had? Hermit crab was crawling, crawling in his shell. Hermit crab was worried that the day would not go well. Hermes saw a long line of shells from large to small. Someone called, come join us, cause we need one and all. Hmm. Hermit crab was leaving. some research about hermit crabs. They were so interesting to me. Now, I'm going to show you that I have a puppet of a hermit crab hiding in this shell. And it's really surprising because see this big shell? This is a great big granddaddy hermit crab. And he's hiding. He can be protected just like that. He can be camouflaged in the light and dark shadows of the water. But when he needs to move about and get food, he can come out and crawl around. And he has shared many shells with other crabs as he grew bigger and bigger. So, I wanted to show you that I collected some shells that hermit crabs might have used. Here's a small one. One that's a little bit bigger. And one that's even bigger. Think what good protection their shells give them. But, like in the song, there's a time to stay safe and stay inside, and then there's a time to come out and see the world. 
So I have a wonderful song about that that was written by Andrea Green. And it's called Get Out of Your Shell. It's an echo song, so I'll sing a line, you sing a line. It's the same, and we can all sing it together. Get out of your shell, get out of your shell. Don't hide inside, don't hide inside. Get out of your shell, get out of your shell. really truly inspire us. They're totally fascinating for curious humans and curious giraffes and aren't we glad we have such an interesting and diverse world. Yes, oh yes, I want to get outside and see more of it. Yes, so I do too, so that's where I'm going to go next. But I'm so happy you all came to be with us today. And I'm so happy for all the interesting books that have been written, fact and fiction, true and make-believe. They all open our minds and our hearts to get out of our shells and try something new. Okay, time to sing our song. I want to lead. I want to lead. Please, please. <laughs> of course, I'm happy for you to lead. Ready? Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. <laughs> Thanks, Jeanette. Thanks, George. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Get out of your shell. Don't hide inside, don't hide. 